<laughs> oh, ah, the motherfucking Shaggy Show! Oh, God. Manny, what's good? It's delicious. That's your new name is delicious? Like, it's delicious or? Delicious. That's your new name? It's one of my personas. Delicious? <laughs> yes. Okay, well, I guess. Okay, hey. I just want to hear you call me I don't delicious. judge. Oh, no, man. I won't. <laughs> that's not That's not. A, that's not something I'll be calling you. Today, we're going to start the show off on a sad foot, but not just any foot, on a sad Gordon Light foot. <laughs> That was good. And because simply Gordon Lightfoot has passed away into the pearly gates of the netherworld today. But not before leaving us the pearl of a gem song, the Edmonton Fitzgerald. You know what we're going to do to to honor Gordon Heavyfoot, Gordon Lightfoot? Is we are going to Google the lyrics to the Edmonton Fitzgerald song. And we're going to, well, I'm going to try to sing it. Okay. If you guys want to join in on the hook, feel free. Okay, so you're going to have to kind of scroll with me as I, as I go. Okay. <clears throat> Just let me see right quick. Let me let me see where the hook is at least. Is there a hook to this? There's no hook. How fucking many words? Oh. Wow, that's a fucking song right there. Holy shit. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Kichigumi. I think that's Lake Superior, isn't it? Was it Lake Michigan? No, Lake Michigan, it was a Gitchigumi. The lake, it is said, never gives up on her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. It must happen in November, I'm guessing. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weight empty. The good ship in true was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. Wait, where's, where's the hook? They just play guitar a little bit or something? Yeah, you go, Edmund. Ding, 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 ding. They ship us the pride of the American side coming back from the mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most with a crew and a good captain, well seasoned. They poured some Lorai salt seasoning on them. Or was he salty as shit? Concluding some terms with a couple steel firms and then left fully loaded for Cleveland. Wow, what is this guy like on the ship? What the fuck? He's just really into what the fuck this shit did. Oh, I got a time limit. See what he's doing to me? I see. And later that night, when the ship's bell rang, could it be North Wind? They be feeling? I don't know. How do they fucking know what these guys are thinking? They're dead, right? All these guys on the boat. Did everybody die on the shit? Well, maybe the song will tell us. Let's 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 read on. Let's sing on. <laughs> the wind and the wires made a tattletale sound, and a wave broke over the railing. Why does it seem like feeling, railing, stealing? It's okay, I see what's going on here. And every man knew as the captain did too. Twas the witch of November come stealing. The dawn came late, and the breakfast had to wait. Man, fuck that. That's why I don't work on a ship. When the gates of November came slashing. This song sucks. I don't want to sing it no more. You got no choice. Let's get to the fucking end. Come on, let's just sing about when it sinks. Uh, Does anyone know where God love goes when the May turn the hours to minutes to search? Oh, shit. Okay, go back, maybe. Ah, fuck this song, man. (laughs) God. All right. Let's get into it. National Days. Yoo-hoo. World Tuna Day. I was starting to like really look into World Tuna Day. Then I realized, hey, why do I give a fuck? And that's a world day, not a national day. Fuck the tunas. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're going to continue today with National Foster Care Day. Man, where's the... <laughs> I don't know if that's something to celebrate. Okay, so... For some odd reason, you don't really observe these days. They tell you shit to do for these days. For National Foster Care Day, um, they want you to raise awareness. You don't observe any anyway. You raise awareness. So you don't observe this day. You raise awareness on this day. So you fucking guys know, all right? Yes. Hey, man. Foster care exists. <laughs> I just want you to look at my shirt. It's a nice shirt, right? It's a sharp ass shirt. Okay, now I'll get to that. You can raise awareness to National Foster Care Day by... Volunteering for a fundraising gimmick. 
You can become a foster parent. That's a pretty fucking steep uh, commitment to make just uh, because it's foster care day on the national level. You know what I'm saying? Well, what's that? Well, you know, I'm going to go foster a child. You know, shout out to the motherfuckers that do foster children, though, because I hear that's a tough job. Now, the shirt comes into play. Okay. You can wear blue for the foster care youth. So I wore blue today. Next up the bat is National Teacher Appreciation Day. You, I, that's, that's pretty self-explanatory what that is. You don't observe this fucking day neither. So today you show teachers gratitude by um, by uh, refilling classroom supplies if you have the, the uh, sufficient funds to do that. <laughs> also, you can write a letter showing support for your kid's favorite teacher. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. I forgot about these. Uh -oh. oh, are you going to share? Do they got to drink one too or just me and Manny? Holy moly donuts. Well, you guys are about to join in the festivities. What you got here? Sour, sour warheads pop. So we're all going to take a nice big gulp and try to chug oh, as much as we can. Last has to drink another can. Oh, oh wow. When do we start? <laughs> you better open your shit up because we're ready to go. Yeah, man. You're going to be the last. You can have to drink another one. Don't even. Why are you smelling it? Why am I mad at you for spilling? Like Wait, I give a shit. You saying we're gonna chug these? Yes. Yeah. The last, the last the, whoever person, finished last got to drink another one. Got to drink another one. Three, two, one, go. Come on, Let's drink it. Oh, how are you guys doing this? I have to drink another. Ugh, it's so sour and shitty. <sighs> oh, it's bad. Anybody like green apples sour flavor? Ugh. Oh. He lost. I can't. I can't finish it. I can't. Throw up. I hate that pop. I can't even. <laughs> See? Uh-uh. So it's Justin. Yup, Brutalis. You gotta drink that gotta and this it. other one. Yup. Before the stream's up, are you chugging it? Yup. Huh. Last bit. Oh. I can't get the burps out. Who idea was that? That was mine to drink them, but that was not my idea to do that. But hey, you're the youngster. You're in the yeah. butt chugging generation. How would, you can teach how us would, old timers how to do it, Justin. <laughs> National Life Insurance Day. Oh, woo, woo. Yes. Yeah. Now check this out. Even for National Life Insurance Day, we don't even observe that this week. We celebrate it. The year that life insurance was available, guess what year? In the U.S. 1910. Wrong! Way off! 1760. Really? Yes, my friend. Before America even got its independence, 1776. They were slinging life insurance. Well, so they say on paper. I haven't had any type of insurance since I was 18. I live life dangerously. Man, oh yeah, fuck, I hope so. Okay, so we celebrate it. We uh, learn different types of life insurance because I guess there's different types. Another way to celebrate it is to educate yourself and determinate your family's needs. So you could just kind of like educate yourself on a different shit and you sit back and you determine what your what your family needs are when you pass. Brutalis, did you catch that? <laughs> that means you got to be the man of the house. <laughs> Dang. It, if your dad it means you gotta go out and saw logs and start saw fires logs and, and build the exactly. log sheds. What are we talking about? <laughs> We're talking about manhood. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um. Okay. So also today is. <clears throat> what else is today? It was National Life Insurance Day. What other day is today? <laughs> today. <laughs> this guy never gets his cues. Today is a special delicious day. Ah. That's why they called me delicious. Oh no, they don't. I don't. But I wouldn't like for them to call them. And they won't. You were just rubbing that thing. Truffle. Yes, I had to tell you, man. It's all warm right now. Milk chocolate truffle day. Well, can I get a couple before you melt them with your ones? Of course you can. And I'll tell you all about truffles. When I have to go pee pees, I will. And I'll bring you some when Manny reads. <laughs> Me too. You know, I'm not doing nothing. Did you just get a truffle order? I did. <laughs> truffles that way. Truffles this way. Truffles all over. Truffles. Ready for truffles? Ball truffle boy. Truffles. Yeah. Truffle boy. You don't observe today neither. You have a sweet celebration today is what it said to do. A sweet celebration. And I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm having a fucking super sweet celebration. Or also, 
You can join join a truffle digging expedition, and that's just for like the folks out there that, for the mushroom uh, truffle people. Just okay. to, just to include them in, they felt bad. Another way you can have a sweet celebration is gifting somebody one. Manny, I'd like to gift you one of these. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go. Mm. Hello. Is this UFO Juggalo? Yes, it's UFO Juggalo. What's up, Shag? Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. Hey, <laughs> you know what today is, right? So, yeah, some kind of truffle day. Or Not just shit. some kind some of kind truffle of day. It is chocolate truffle day. Do you like chocolate truffles? Man, you know what? I've heard of them for a while, you know, but I've never tried any of them. Well, let me tell you, I'll share my love for them for, for you, to you. Do you like chocolate? Yeah, sometimes. Well, boy, are you in for a treat. Just say yes for my sake, please. Do you like chocolate? Yes, yes. Well, then, boy, are you in for a treat, UFO Juggalo. Because not only is it a tasty, solid chocolate outer core, they also can roll that motherfucker on some type of nuts or other tasty, crunchy bits. Then the inside, just when you think the outer chocolate crunchy layer isn't just, like, fantastic and good enough. (laughs) No, my friend. Absolutely not. You bet your sweet ass. That's when you bite it with your teeth. And the soft, creamy, ganoush feeling fills your mouth up with deliciousness. I'm just telling you this because I have nothing but pure love for these things. And I had to share it with somebody. I got to grab me some of them hoes. You do, man. You can get them at your local gas station nowadays. Or if you ever really wanted to, you could eat those. Well, you are got a special pig looking for truffles underground mushrooms. All right there, UFO (laughs) juggalo. Yeah, now you look, you gotta promise me you're gonna time, fucking bro. try some truffles. Fucking A right. I'm gonna go grab some as soon as I get out. There you go. Report yeah, back. Yeah, bro. Fuck yeah! Alright. Oh! Woo-woo. Yeah, woo woo. You, you know what was so cool about that? That was so cool getting to educate somebody that's never fucked with a truffle before. Today is National <laughs> Baby Day. This is what I didn't really see, but. I heard yesterday that it was. Maybe you could share some ways we could observe National Baby Day. Maybe look at somebody's baby. Hold somebody's baby. Uh, Fago uh, Loving Clown said, We observe it by getting her on a new birth control today. <laughs> hey. Woo-hoo. Yeah. No babies. I feel you. <laughs> that could be one of the best ways to. That is. That's probably there. the best way to celebrate National Baby Day is by recognizing not having one. Five, four, four five, three, three, two, two. One. Ah! Purple. There it is. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. Oh! Oh, shit! All right, so today is also one last day, and as I'm sure everybody well knows, today is National Polish Flag Day. I'm sure there's many ways to observe it, and I have no idea how. I don't really know shit about the Polish flag, but I do. I, I do know uh, about myself. Like as far as I know, I'm the, I'm like at least like half Polish, something like that. I don't know. Justin, let's see what the fuck I did to. Uh, well, we did to honor Polish Flag Day. Oh, holy shit! Today is National Polish Flag Day. Now this bitch was a top student, and the hard every ninja trying to holler way shit. See, all right. So here goes the deal. As far as I know, uh, my whole life growing up, uh, from what I understand, I have a lot of Polish ancestry in me. Um, my great grandma didn't speak English. I know that. Uh, in my, I don't know, past that, who fucking knows? I don't know. A lot of Polish. So, what I figure I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna make a goddamn flag. Yeah, make a goddamn flag. A Polish one at that. Because it's Polish Flag Day, stupid. Hmm. Make a Polish flag, I say, huh? Well, how in the hell do we do that? You gotta understand that I ain't leaving my fucking house to do this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna use what's laying around like I usually do. So, first step is, I guess, we will have to find... Why, well, we'll have to find some material, won't we? Don't know where we look. But we're going to find some somewhere in this fucking madhouse of mine. So, here we are in the closet. And now, we're going to try to find... Well, there's no red shirts. So, we're going to try to find a uh, white shirt. Which is... Here we go. Wow. So lucky. Look at that. No print on it. Nothing. 
Looks like uh, looks like this motherfucker right here is about to be cut the fuck up and made to represent. Her. Could not find any red shirts, but this little crafting area I'm sure will provide something that we could use. What's what do we got? Ooh, oh dang, sparkly red. Oh, oh, oh shit, that might be kind of dope. That might be kind of cool right there. Holy shit. Oh, oh, red boy. Shit, okay. Red boy. Okay, that's gonna use for some too. Cause I gotta make it big, you know what I'm saying? I can't just make a little <gasps> more sparkly shits. Yeah, fuck yeah, I keep dropping the goddamn camera. More sparkly shits. I gotta find some shit big enough to, bingo. Fill it out with the fucking red shits. Looks like I got my materials ready. I gotta figure out how to get the shit together. Now, as you can clearly see behind me, there's an old drawing desk in a room that nobody even knows exists. But anyhow, it's old drawing desk. I'm gonna clear the fucker off and I'm gonna use that as my workstation for this awesome, beautiful flag of pole. All right, so let's get all this shit off the table. Oh boy. Oh shit. Okay. Mm. Alright, look at that. Blank fucking kit. Oh. Wait, that doesn't go in. Bam! We got our fucking material. Oh shit, wait. We got our materials. I gotta get a couple more couple more items. Item one. Scissors. <laughs> so First thing when you make a Polish flag, what you're gonna wanna do is see how big you're actually gonna have it first. So that's why we start with the t-shirt. Looks like we got, got a pretty big uh big fucking thing going here, big canvas, the big flag piece. You're like, hey, that's just a t-shirt. I'm like, <laughs> oh, you are sorely mistaken. This ain't no goddamn t-shirt. This is the beginning of a Polish flag. While we're waiting on them scissors, let's check out a turtle biting a bitch on the titty. Oh, he's a pissed turtle. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> Item number two. Tape. <laughs> okay. Tape. Okay, where's the fucking end to this thing? Who does the tape and then doesn't leave it on this fucking part? What the fuck? This, there's no end. There's no fucking end. <laughs> Damn it, where's the fucking end? Finally fucking got it. All right. So now we can start taping these motherfuckers together. All right. the fuck it sure is magic as shit i can't find the magical fucking end of it jesus item number two dash b packaging tape ha! Ha! fuck you magical scotch tape bam Wait, this is still scotch man damn it oh well this will work better anyhow Cause I had a feeling that that shitty ass little scotch tape, I had a feeling that that one may have uh, not been strong enough anyhow, like this new industrial strength technology that I found at my disposal and leisure. Fucking crazy, man. Who just leaves fucking industrial mending tape laying around like that? Let's get this fucker taped together. The red part. This right here goes out to the Fucking haters out there and didn't think I could get a half a flag done in red like I did. Now all there is to do is to connect that motherfucker up with the white. So here we go. Hmm. The question. What does one use to connect two materials together? I don't know. This is going to take more items. Item number three. More technology tape. 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 So yeah, I figured uh, 
I don't know how to sew. I don't know where those zip ties are at. Why not just stick with the fucking tape gimmick, huh? Let's go for it. I got taught all my techniques of making flags by um, Anthony B. Ross herself. That little old bitch that made the fucking um, American flag back in the day or whatever. Yeah, that's who I learned my shit from. Study hard. Yeah. Oh. Careful. Don't want it to fuck curl up on a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Right. Bam! I promise you, it's going to fucking work. That's my word. It's bond! Brown. Now we figure out how to make it fly. Oh shit! Come on, you. You know what? I'm getting this motherfucker. I'm, I'm getting this fucking stick right here. I'm using this goddamn stick. Okay, so. The final little process making the Polish flag is this. The fucking stick to put it on to represent it. I look at the picture and it says that red goes on the bottom. So we're gonna watch this shit. Oh man! Oh! Oh! Oh shit! Let's go fly this motherfucker! While we're waiting on that flag to fly, let's check out somebody stealing a ham from the store. Polish flags. Holler at your boy. Let's go. Wave it. Proud man. There's no Polish flag guy. Polish flags. Well, 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 well. And that is how we celebrate Polish Flag Day around this motherfucker. Go out, get some of these to touch, and fuck off.